Thank you so much for checking me out today, guys. Welcome to your daily dose of misogyny. After all, let's get it going. Today, we are reacting to a pop the balloon challenge video. Without further ado, let's get it going. And before we start, please remember guys to like, comment and subscribe if you like the kind of content we do over here. Obviously, it's not for everyone, but let's get going. Thank you very much. Fellas, let's get it off our first single lady. Hey, All right, right here. All right, who do we have here? Your name and age. Um, my and before we go any further, remember, guys, the first impression lasts. And by first impression, I wonder what a lot of guys be seeing. I mean, look at the faces. We have a smiley over here. We have a smiley over here. Guys are enjoying what they are seeing. However, remember, the proof is in the substance that she brings. What substance does this young lady bring today? But for me personally, if I'm seeking a wife, this first presentation may not be a good move. But let's go. My name is Honey and I'm 34. All right, and Honey, um, what do you do for a living? Um, I actually own multiple LLCs. One of them is a financial literacy company and my other one is a digital marketing company and I also own a salon and I'm also a single mom. Okay, That's all right, all right, love. I'm also a single mom. Don't make that one slide. Had to put it in there. Let's go. Single mommy number one. Let's see what you've got for the guys today, y'all. All right, so what is your ideal man? Um, probably someone who understands my schedule and is flexible. Um, someone who's like able to go to the, um, the club with me, VIP with me, okay. but also do business with me. And also be a father, like an improvise. Okay, all right. Um... To be honest, guys, after that statement, I am disappointed that half of the cast hasn't popped their balloons already. Here's the thing about being male. You have to be very deliberate very clear and very consistent with what you want. No, unless some of these guys are here, not for seeking a long-term partner as they, as they purport to be doing. If I am here to seek a wife at this point, I have popped. Why? She has made some contradicting statements. First off, she's saying, you know, she has all of this thing going for her. And then one of the first things she requires in a partner is to go to the clubs and to be a substitute daddy. So she is looking for three things. She's looking for a man to come onto her program and backfill for the guy that planted a seed inside her and for any man holding his frame that should be an automatic disqualifier but let's go and what would be your ideal date um my ideal date um probably just something where he's noticed things that i like and he was very thoughtful and planning it okay all right we love okay so all the men balloon are on okay we all, okay we have one balloon Okay, we have two balloon popped, all right? Let's go ahead and figure out why they popped the balloon, okay? Okay. Right, you come with me? Come with me. <laughs> all right, right here. All right, who do we have here? Can you mention your name and age and why you popped the balloon? Hello, my name is Kenny. Now, before we go any further, we spoke earlier about presentation. Now, what she's presenting here is the club aspect of herself. I am not seeing the 
business woman part of her presentation right here. I'm not seeing a business woman in this presentation. What I'm seeing, what I'm seeing here is one and move. One and move, as we say here in JA. And I'm 25 years old. Then uh the reason why I pop my balloons because uh the age difference to start with. Okay. And yeah, and uh and she's a single mom. And I'm I, I have no kid. I, I'd rather have uh, somebody that's uh that I have no kid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any comments regarding to that? I oh, know I respect it. I prefer a man who like is ready. Oh yeah. He has to go through his self discovery journey mm -hmm. and so i wouldn't even want to like waste his time and waste my time it would just be like sex yeah okay i understand <laughs> now um okay so you're saying the age the age difference how old are you 25 25 okay yeah. okay um and so you've never dated anybody older i did okay but yeah but it's just like for the time i i, I met right now mm -hmm. i wouldn't want to do that right now no not anymore okay all right so you're looking for something serious yeah Okay. All right. I like that. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward and see why he popped his balloon. All right. Can you introduce yourself, name, occupation, and age, and why he popped the balloon? What's up? Uh, it's a more 27, and I do a couple other things. I ain't going to say what I do, like, as occupation-wise. Mm -hmm. But I pop because just, like, like he said, the age gap, and I'm just, I just don't really find you attractive. I'm not saying you ugly or not, but <laughs> that's just about it, for real, for real. Guys, here is how much a man's true thoughts have been watered down homeboy wasn't even within himself to say i don't find you attractive full stop you have to apologize for not finding her attractive and that is insane to me guys that is insane i f do not find you attractive full stop all the platitudes of yes you're a beautiful girl and everything is okay and it should be enough for a man to say i don't find you attractive and then if asked further on why then i can say your physique is not to my liking or the way you dress or your presentation in some way is not to my liking however and this is something you will continually see on these public balloon challenges. Someone says, I don't find you attractive. And then I have to basically apologize for not finding you attractive. But let's go. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, what is your type? You're basically I, saying that she's not your type? I ain't really got a type. I just like, when I see somebody, I'm like, I like how they like put together. Okay. And I just look. They're attractive to me, but that's about it. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Is he your type? Is he physically appealing uh, to you? No, I probably would go with a more like men who I can put in a suit and mm -hmm. I can bring, you know, like in business with me, like, mm -hmm. or like, you know, work out in the gym is more like hefty. Like, okay. like I would, you look like Trippy Red. I would never go for Trippy Red. I don't look nothing like Trippy Red. I think Honey is tripping. She needs some glasses or something. So I don't know what she's talking about, bro, bro. Oh, the guy who looks like Trippy Red. He has all those tattoos. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with Trippy Red. I'm just saying, personally, I'm not attracted to a man with painted nails and tats on their face. And I like a more cleaner look. I would go more for, like, Michael B. Jordan. Okay. Like, okay. You, I can't wear a suit. Sorry. I can't wear a suit? Um, you can't wear a suit. But, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen you when I just see you like this. No, I don't think Honey is getting anybody like Michael B. Jordan. It's not a lot of them walking around, but I don't want to seem like a hater. She might, but who knows? Okay, I feel it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. Let's let's come back. We have some more pops here. All right. So we have one pop here. All right. Can you introduce yourself, your name, age, occupation, and why you popped your balloon? Luke, 40, Mount Kisco, New York. The only reason I pop is I know I'm not a Michael B. Jordan type. <laughs> So I know it kind of it kind of blew me out the water. So I, mean, I, I limited. Myself. I didn't say Michael B. Jordan's just in reference to his physical appearance. Um, Michael B. Jordan is actually um, an inspiration. He's done great black empowerment like movies. He like is very business oriented. He wanted marriage. He wanted a stable home. No, 
Oh, this right here, guys, is a quote. 110%. When she said Michael B. Jordan, we all know what she meant. Now, all of this is basically her coping, her walking back on her statement. We all know what she meant. She wants a strong, fit black man who has made his name and who is not only financially but also has a level of influence where he can basically retire her for the rest of his life for the rest of her life i mean we are not as stupid as they purport us to be but let's continue let's see what's happening from here home he wasn't like just out here with all these women so he has a great head on his shoulder and he works out and he takes care of himself you can tell he has self-love okay. Mm -hmm. okay all right cool i mean apart from that uh, she your type? Oh, definitely. Most okay. definitely. All right. Uh, he, is he also your type? Um, I don't know. I think that he gives me, like, he gives me, um, like, he has depths to his soul. So I would probably, like, spend hours talking to him and conversing with him to pick his brain. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Okay. All right. So it's unfortunate. Of course, he popped his balloon. Two people popped their balloon. Three people popped the balloon. We still have three balloons on. And so at this moment, we'll give you the opportunity to ask a question. And with that question that you asked, we'll go down the line and get an answer. Based on the answers, we're going to go ahead and eliminate. All right. So do you have a question prepared for these three gentlemen? Um, OK, the first question is, do you have a relationship with God? OK, All right, let's go down your name, age, occupation and answer. My name is David Mendoza from Hoboken, New Jersey, and I'm a truck driver and um, I do have a spiritual sense in my sense, but do I go to church every day? I don't. That's one thing I don't. But I do believe in God. Do you have any comments? Um, I'm allowed to ask another question. No, just, just that <laughs> one question, but do you have any comments to say regarding his answer? No, I have no comment. Okay. All right, we're going to go down. Thank you very much. All right, same name, age, occupation, and answer. Hi, I'm Jose. I'm a truck driver as well. I'm also from Hoboken, New Jersey. Um, Honest, I got a spiritual relationship with God. I don't go to church all the time. I go a few times a year. I come from a religious household. I'm not going to lie. I was raised on the values and everything like that. But am I the correct person to go to church every week? Not true. But, I, you know, the values is important to me, you know? So what I would say is I noticed that with both gentlemen, you guys keep referencing church. And I believe that a relationship with God has nothing to do with a building. Well, then that case, and yes, I have a strong relationship with God, and I can't say the church ain't got nothing to do with God and me. Exactly, man. That's my right hand. Exactly. That's my right hand, too. <laughs> All right. Love it. Let's go ahead and go down. Same thing. Name, age, occupation, and um, answer. My uh, name is Teddy, uh, 34. Um, I'm a certified ethical hacker. Basically, I work in cybersecurity. Um, I grew up very religious, uh, Pentecostal. Um, again, I, I understand the whole church then. Um, I, I agree with what you said as far as, you know, in the Bible it says where two or more are gathered, God is present. You know, I, I don't practice it every single day. I do believe in God and Christ and all that stuff. So um, I don't know if that's enough for you, but I would say I'm more spiritual versus religious. If that makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's come back. Let's come back, gentlemen. Thank you very much for your answers. Um, so now based on their answers, we're going to need you to pop one balloon. All right. Can I please get your pen? Go ahead and pop one balloon based on, and give us a reason why you popped that one balloon, all right? That's so fucked up. Okay. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I was very, very disappointed. I mean, that, that threw me off, you know, with the whole spiritual thing. What I meant to say is I'm in tune with my religion. Come on, brother. Come on. That is some simple shit. Be better, my brother. Be better. You know, based on what you're looking at, that religion doesn't play such a huge part in her life as she claims in front of you guys. Don't sit there and act stupid, bro, man. You know, based on her dress, that religion doesn't play a 
pivotal role. These are the, just some of the things they like to throw out there to try and water down the pool, to try and cut the pool off top. And why is that? Because generally, women are more into religious beliefs than men are. It's just a natural state of affairs. Most women will come and tell you that they have some form of churchy, some form of religious belief, more so than men. And you're here acting stupid, my bro. Do better, man. I just don't practice it as much. But I think she kind of took it as demons and voodoo. And I, I was like, no, but you know, I, I guess it is what it is. But I was, yeah. All right, so let's figure out why did you pop his balloon? Because I'm like a cat. I'm very intuitive. And I sense like, you know, like I don't practice witchcraft or black magic or anything that has to do with like um, forcing my energy like up on others. So like I have to say no, even though you're very handsome. We As I just said, that is just a load of baloney. Because at no point did this gentleman mention anything about having any nefarious or occultic practices. These are just words just come to her mouth and she has to spew them out. They hold no bearing. There is nothing here. But let me know what you think down in the comments though. And guys, I will also drop the link for this video and I will also like to shout out the host and his channel as well. So when you watch this, you can definitely go ahead and watch the full episode. Definitely, man. Have to show respects to where I get these things from. But let's go. Let's continue listening to her baloney. We have different beliefs in the spiritual realm. I looked into Teddy's energy personally, and I saw that he was not respecting other people's spiritual boundaries. And so... Obviously, that's not something that you can physically see, but that's a gift that I was blessed with. And so I personally chose not to entertain it. Um, I so here we go again. You have been blessed with a gift to be able to read people's energy. And you read into this gentleman that he does not respect other people's spiritual boundaries. That's a lot to read into and you don't expect that we are reading into that type of dressing does not say anything spiritual this is saying hobuga this is saying hobuga my sister so at this point there is nothing you say that we will take seriously I just felt like that when he was speaking in general on his spirituality, like that maybe some of the things that he was accustomed to weren't rules that um, I abided by in my spiritual tribe. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So what, what is your spirituality? Like, what do you believe in? Um, I, I believe that there's God, and then God created many gods in his reflection to rule over different parts of the land and places. And I believe that we're all here on a journey to discover our personal power and who we choose to be and represent in this realm or maybe another one. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, unfortunate, we have one pop. So, we have these two gentlemen that still have the balloon on. Let's figure out if they have some more questions for you. And based on their questions, um, there will be an elimination. All right. All right. Do you have any questions for her? What do you see yourself in five years? Um, in five years, I want to have a farm. Yeah, I want to have a farm. I want to have multiple lands. I want to take my businesses I opened in Jersey and turn them into a franchisee in Atlanta, Houston, and L.A. And I want to have land with a garden and maybe a son, too. A son, so that means you have a daughter? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, this kind of questioning is what I call 
low ball, soft ball questioning. Now, here is the way I would ask that question. Because there is dreaming. Everyone can dream about what the next five years will look like. All right? So the way to ask a question is like that is, what does the next five years look like for you? And what steps have you taken to make that dream a reality in the past two years? So what have you done over the past two years to make that dream and all that halabaloo that you're speaking about become reality? Because everything else is rubbish. But let's go. All right. Mm. That pretty much answers the question I'm going to ask. Uh, how many kids you got? I have two daughters. Two daughters? I'm just... I've been experienced with one kid before and been in a stepfather situation. I think two is a little much for me. You know, it's not my preference, but I'm about to say you, though. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. That's why I work so hard. All right. Let's come back. Let's come back. All right. So we still have one balloon on. I think we, there, this, this could potentially be a match here. So can you come here next to me, to my side? All right. So this could be a potential first match here. But uh, do you have any questions for her? Any last minute questions? Are you catching me with all the questions? Um, <laughs> to be honest, do you see yourself getting married or have you ever been married before? Um, I, was, I was married and I was divorced. And I do see myself getting married again because I'm, there's way too many STDs out here. So like, just no. Yeah. Okay. All right, what about you? you have any questions for him? Um, do you have any kids? I have two. Okay. I have a boy and a girl. Oh, lucky you have both. Okay. All right. No other questions? No. No last minute questions. All right. So do we have, do you have a match here? It's up to her. She's a lady. Okay. Do you have a match here? I think we have a match. All right. So we have our first match. Yeah. We have our first match. All right. All right. So you can go ahead and take your single lady with you. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, miss, make some noise. Make some noise for him. Yeah. Take her away. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck with this one. I think homeboy got that girl by process of elimination. He's, he may be one of those that feel bad about a woman not getting what she wants. I don't think that he per se would have chosen her off the streets, especially dressed like that. However, that's his thing. So let's see what go on over Odessa. So thank you so much guys for joining me today. Once again, we were checking out, we were checking out Pop the Balloon Challenge is one of the things we do over here on Misogyny Daily. Your daily dose of misogyny, you get down in them DMs. Yes, that's what we do over here. So once again, guys, thank you so much for joining. And if you like what you're getting so far, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And also leave me messages on how you want me to formulate this channel. Because obviously, as you can see, it's new and it's coming and we're doing the thing. But let's go. Yeah, man. Give me some tips. Give me some hints. And all of that. Let's see how we can get it done. And as you can see here, it says Colossians 3.13. Bear with one another. And if one has a complaint against another, forgive each other as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. Let's call it a day and do the thing.